Welcome to the homestead. We basically have three different projects going. Well, really two, but we're about to start the third. And these projects combined, whew, yeah, these projects combined are gonna make it so cool here, as if it isn't already. So let me show you what we're working on. Project one was getting a PVC line run from our well over to our freshwater tank. So all we have to do is open up that valve and the water just runs straight into our tank. Which will make it super easy to fill up with water. We've been using the hose for the first week, which worked, it worked fine, but I don't wanna do that for the you know, next 10, 15, 20 years, however long we live here. We want something more permanent. So part two of this project is to, is to run electrical, to hook it up to our house batteries so we don't have to run an extension cord out to the well either. So those two components are project number one. We think, we're thinking we might do another trench along the front of the house because we already have electrical running outside right by the garage. So that's what we're thinking. That's what we're thinking. Project number two is we have decided to expand our sandstone patio. So before it came out to about there, but now we're gonna fill in all this area here and make a wrap around patio. And we're doing that because the wind gets really bad from the south. So quite honestly, we want a windbreak. And when you, when you get around this side of the house, the wind really dies off. It's actually quite pleasant. So we want patio, we want seating on this side as well as that side. This side won't have the, the patio roof, so it'll be exposed to the sun and rain and things like that. But it'll be a windbreak. It'll be relief from the wind. So that's what we're starting on now. We're gonna do, you know, a little bit every day or every other day or something until it gets finished. Uh, so that's project number two. Project number three. Is right now when we're out for happy hour, we always have to keep hold of Pepper, our Welsh Terrier, but we want her to be able to roam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a fence along outside, you know, around the solar panels, all the way over and then to the outside of this new patio. So it'll be a nice big rectangle fence area. So when we're out here, we just kind of let Pepper off leash and she can go wandering and Penny can go wandering with her. Maybe they can play a little bit in the yard. They have some space to roam without them always having to be on a leash. We haven't gotten all the equipment yet for the fencing, but that's coming within the next week. That's gonna be a huge, huge upgrade. Which project are you looking forward to the most? The electrical, the patio, or the fence? The fence is gonna make it the easiest for me. <laughs> Steve runs the electrical, um, the, the extension cords right now to run the well, so that doesn't make a huge difference. Oh, I see me. how it is. Um, and then, it's, it would be nice to have the wind break, but right now we don't need it. So the fence would make the biggest difference right now to me, because then I wouldn't have to have Pepper on a leash the whole time. But I think they're all gonna be awesome. I think they will be. Hi, Pepper. Whoa, whoa, dude. Oh boy. Hi, Spaz. Nothing like starting the day with a delicious cup of coffee.
I'd say we did pretty good on this electrical project. We ran about 100 feet of 12 gauge electrical wire from one of our outlets that we already had coming outside from the front of the house, uh, dug a trench, ran straight over to the well pump and put a little power pedestal there that we can plug into and power the pump. So now we no longer have to run the extension cord. It's always plugged in. We got it wired straight to our breaker box inside so we can turn the well pump power to the well pump on and off really easily. So that was a great, great upgrade. Who wants a hoof? Who wants a hoof? Yeah. Guess what we get to do with all this water? We get to take showers. Yes. As many as we want at any time we want. I know. And after we've been outside doing sweaty work. That's what I'm going to do right now. Guess what? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do right now. So you're in charge of the pepper. Uh-oh. There you go. Good dog. Good dog. Enjoy your shower. I'm I'm after you. Are you helping Pepper? Now she's helping by cleaning that with her tongue. This goes back in. Oh, okay. You can go in with it. We just won't turn the water on. What a weirdo. She's a Welshie. <sighs> Meanwhile, our other dog, equally helpful, but not really. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Well, the last couple days have been very busy for us. We're out on our evening walk with the puppies before we settle in for the night. These slow incremental improvements to the house are some of the things that we like to do out here. It's as I'm sure many people do, just make it your own and getting the well installed and extending our patio and eventually the fence, that's doing exactly that. Making it our own, making it work the best we can for us. It's a big learning process. Almost none of this we've done before, but you just kind of dive in and do the best you can and learn from your mistakes and go forward from there. One of the things I like the most about doing those projects is how accomplished you feel after you're done. That is true. Every sandstone laid, every... Now we can just flip a switch and get our well going. All good things. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Sorry. We were wa waxing poetic about our stuff, Penny. Not paying attention to our walk. No. By the way, look at how green it is. It is so green here. People around here calling it Ireland, which is funny but like it is crazy green weeds, like waist high. That's what happens in the desert when it gets a lot of water. Yeah. As dry as it was last year, that's how wet it is this year. And most of us are way thrilled. We've had some really heavy downpours, some damage in some of the surrounding areas with some of their you know, carports and things like, things like that. So, I mean, microbursts and monsoons, they, they can do some damage, but they can also provide so much water, which we so badly need. So we're thankful for that. We shall bid them farewell. Yes. Have a nice day, evening, whatever time it is where you are. We're going to enjoy our walk and wind down. <laughs> How you doing, Pat? Mm -hmm.